Good morning. My name is Jason Stanton. Uh, we've made it to Friday. Congratulations. Hope you're maybe maybe you have some extra special plans uh, this evening. That would be good. I think it's we're finding in our family it's good to kind of make one day at least a little bit different uh, from another. I think we're gonna do a fish fry or something like that tonight. So that um, it's funny how cleaning the kitchen three times a day starts to feel <laughs> over and over and over again. Um, on Wednesday, we talked a little bit about, which I shouldn't say we, I talked a little bit about how a birthday cake works best on a birthday uh, for reasons that are maybe pretty obvious, but um, it is somebody's birthday. People sing at the birthday person. Um, it's, it's the kind of food that maybe you wouldn't eat just any old day. And I talked about it because the church is wondering about what to do uh, with Holy Communion in the midst of us not gathering. Um, so I asked, what does communion mean to you? And one answer that I got was, uh, it completes me. And I got a few answers, um, private messages and posts uh, here on Facebook. And I, I love that idea that it, it completes me. Um, the church is doing what a lot of families are doing right now, and that is asking what really matters to us. How do we keep being us? And what would that look like in these times? And so I saw one meme on Facebook. It said, in the rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. I think that's, that's exactly the question I'm, I'm asking is, um, how do we use this time to consider what parts of being church are worth rushing back to? Part of what makes us want to rush back to normal is a desire for the familiar. You know, our lives are filled with rituals and traditions that make days feel normal and safe. Uh, rituals like, you know, how you drink your coffee every morning or your tea or or however your, your morning schedule works, maybe you have a commute. There are things we do throughout our days that, that bring a sense of control, a sense of, of safety. And those rituals and traditions, um, they're essential to, to the pace of life. For the church, our favorite meaningful thing we do together, and I'll underline that word do, um, is Holy Communion. Um, it unites us, it feeds us, it expresses our unity together like nothing else does. And so in the absence of, of that expression, that ritual and tradition, uh, we're left to have to think about, so what do, we, what do we do instead? Is there something we can do instead? Because it's perfect, you know, Communion does does what we what we want to do perfectly as we wonder about this i think the best part is i don't think god is bound by making by us making a right or wrong answer to the communion question uh, no matter what we decide as far as uh, whether to wait or if not what else would we do uh, god's mercy and grace are bigger than our communion practices uh, but if we do wait to commune, which is where, where we're at right now as a church, uh, we get to rest in another, another truth that we believe, and that is, we've always said we believe the Word of God makes the sacrament. So in times of duress, the Word is sufficient. Well, what would that look like or mean uh, in these days? If we say God's Word is enough to communicate God's mercy and love, um, if we say that that word lives, both through the written word and as we pray, well, maybe it looks like we start doing a ritual and tradition rooted in what we do in worship every week. But what if we made a, a ritual and tradition centered around prayer? Uh, Carla was telling me the Pope uh, did a a worldwide prayer where everyone was invited recently to to pray together i think we could start among us a, a ritual of praying together daily 
from wherever we are, our, our address at our church is 410 Main Street. What if at 410 every day we found ourselves a thoughtful spot, we considered uh, what the day has been like for ourselves and what it's like for the world in that day. Maybe maybe we add some comments in, in Facebook or through text to each other. This could develop over time. But what if our ritual was at 410 each day, set an alarm on our on our phone and say, we're going to pray at 410. So that's what I invite you to do today is to share prayer concerns and to pray uh, at 410. Do it all weekend long and see if that becomes a, a rhythm, a ritual um, where we can kind of have an outlet for, for doing something as we do want to connect with God and each other. God, as we consider a ritual, a tradition uh, to, to satisfy this desire to, to do something together. We pray that a ritual of prayer, a time of diving deeper into your living word, we pray that it would be enough for us, even as we, as we miss Holy Communion we seek to become closer to you in the ways we do have at hand. And so help us to, to be prayerful, to be thoughtful all the time, but especially uh, in the mid to late afternoon at 410. Help this to be a, a ritual that will feed us. It's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen.